up to Albert Falls Dam today. It's nice and sunny out. There's an uncharted road. Me and Joseph are gonna walk to the cemetery. Today is, uh, what day is today? May 15th. Yeah, today is May 15th. Uh, it's quite windy. I should be getting the uh, wind reducer for this camera to put on the to stop that wind by May 18th or 19th. Can't wait for that day. Got to head over to Super One right now. Uh, Got to see what if they have any more uh, something for Tammy over at Super One in the camera mill. I don't know yet. We'll find out when I get over there. We'll have to see though. Tammy lucked out. There's chamomile flowers today. what I'm drinking right now. It's green tea, matcha green tea right now. Doesn't taste great, but I'm drinking it. <clears throat> it's crossed, Joe. Today is one of those uh, nice days. The wind's kind of mild. Uh, it's also going to get nice and hot. Um, Get to the point where I need to go and dig out my shorts, start wearing those a lot more. Still gets cold at nighttime though. Haven't had much for rain. I'm wondering if we're gonna get forest fires this year. Three years ago we had some wait for the wind to stop. Okay, yeah, three years ago we had some fires. And they were everywhere. It was a not a good year. I think that year was 2018. I'm not for certain. Ought to, um, but I'm certain it was about three years ago. You know, it's so hard to uh, talk to people in this town. Big reason being, they won't give you a word edgewise, and they they, they all got this macho attitude. Uh, they got this attitude that says. Nope, I'm 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 better than you will ever be. Stuff like this kind of thinking, and it, quite frankly, it makes me almost think that they're invincible. Then something happens to them. Oh, I guess you're not so invincible. I guess now, huh? Hmm. Yeah, we need to have a humble attitude. We, we gotta get rid of our pride. <sighs> no, pride doesn't go before the fall. Pride goes before destruction of the Holy Spirit before the fall. That's the old saying in the Proverbs. So, yeah, we're off to church. It's May 16th. Uh, hope things go good at church. Uh, I didn't record much yesterday. Spot I wanted to sit in. I go there to sit down, and lo and behold, my spot has been taken from me. So, I'll make sure my stuff is on top of the seat, that way they know that it's going to be my spot where I sit. 
Uh, I didn't really want to sit upstairs in the balcony. Ran into people. I ran into an Armenian last week. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go into detail explaining that, but yeah, he was an Armenian for certain. He believed in free will. Wind's coming. Okay, the wind let up now. I can talk a few seconds more. Uh, got my new vlog out there yesterday. Put that down. Got it all done. Okay. So I'm heading up here to church. Hoping it goes good. I really do. I hope it goes good. Uh, I'm still uh, trying to uh, recover. You know, there's a sign over here. You can't see it, but maybe you can. It talks about the BMX coming here track. That should take them forever to get it here. I hope it takes them a really long time to get that finished. I don't want to see it here, sorry. You ask me, it's a waste of land. Yeah, I want stuff to come here, but I want stuff that's going to come here that's going to help us. That just looks like it's trouble. They need to put a fence in there or something. went well. I didn't agree with everything Jared said. It was mainly about the church and uh, well, I've seen some misconceptions about people in the church and uh, he made some uh, flaws in his preaching. He was thinking we have a heart issue. No, we have a sin issue. I mean, he thinks we need to correct our heart. Oh, you can't correct your heart. It's deceitful and wicked as Jared said. My 17.9 makes very clear as day and even Jesus talked about it. Out of the heart, some evil thoughts, sexual immorality, murder, theft, adultery, all those things. So, you know, all in all though, it was really good. I have to say it was a good day. Isn't it funny? This weather goes from all nice and sunny outside and all that good stuff, and then all of a sudden, we get a bunch of uh, wind it looks like it wants to threaten rain. Yeah, look at the clouds. Nasty, ugly clouds. Okay, I have the wind reducer on here. We're going to see how well it does. We're going to take it for a test run around the cemetery and see how well it does. So it don't blow off. I hope not. So yeah, we're going to try this out. It's quite windy day today. So a perfect test run to do it on. We're going to give this a good test run and see how well she does. This is quite windy today. So yeah, we're giving this bad boy a test run. I don't know what people are saying of them falling off. Seems to be holding on there just fine. And the wind's blowing about 30, 40 miles an hour. And uh, I had to tweak it a little bit to get it on there. It's a little bit in the way of the buttons, but I can still operate the buttons, so I'm happy about that. So we're taking this bad boy for a test run, and it's blowing like crazy. The wind is... What a good day to do a test on these things, to see how well they do work out. And, uh... I got them on the spots that where you don't want to put them over the seal, over the actual hole, but around the hole. And so... Yeah. And if anything, if I have to, I will super glue them in place if I have to. If I have to do that, I will. Yeah, so we're just taking these for a good run. See how well they do. Uh, they're mowing lawn right now. We're definitely taking this thing for a run. See the battery's gotten a little bit low on this. It's okay. Um, one thing I like about this is it's got two uh, batteries on it. 
we're taking this thing for a run. I'm talking, mainly trying to talk to see if this is going to hold out, you know, when I'm walking with it. To see how well it holds out. And, uh, so yeah, we're doing it right now. The wind's blowing, it stops, it blows, it blows, it stops. So we're going to walk around a little more and then just, just check her out. Well, I'm I'm curious to see if it's gonna knock out some of that wind or not, because it's quite windy today. I would love to be able to record in the wind. And that's the main reason I bought this was so when the wind blows, you can still hear me, but you can hear the wind, not hear that obtrusive noise though. Uh, it's getting brutal out here now, and. I've read reports about those wind reducers actually you hear the wind but you don't hear it in your microphone or speaker uh, that is trying to you know you gotta remember though we don't clog up the hole that that then you put it on there with you just want to make sure that that is done so we're not going for a far walk I gotta get back to Jennifer, today is uh, May 18th. Um, I didn't go for a far walk. I didn't want to go for a far walk. Um, yeah, let me get around this corner. But this is, should be a prime example of if this thing works or not. Um, that wind is probably blowing about 30, 40 miles an hour. I want to hear the wind. I don't want to hear it in my ear, though. You want to hear the sound of the wind like normally you would in real life. Not the... In the, in the microphone thing. So the idea of these things is that... Well, they used to call them cattails. What it had, the fiber on them... Little fibers on them. They grab, the wind grabs, it, it stops the wind from hitting the thing. So it's kind of like a, a roof. The wind blows over top of the roof, but not on the roof. And that's the whole point of it. All right, I think that's enough. You know, I never took these things into consideration what it means to be actually a good vlogger. I mean, without having to, you know, things you got to do to get that high good quality sound in the video and stuff like that and all the work it takes just to get a good video. I mean, yeah. So I leave that little note, things I got to do. Okay, this is the Camp RP40. Uh, these are the wind reducers right here uh, these it's a little you can see right there the buttons hold on a second let me put it back out the buttons are there is one there's the other one. A little obtrusive, but small price to pay for it's a small price to pay for wind reduction. And uh, I played some back some of the video of uh, when it was in the wind reduction. I had those on there. Ha oh, Tremendously worth every penny you pay for it, folks. It is worth $27. Uh, if you want to be a vlogger out there, I live in a windy area. 20% of the day, I mean, 20% of the month, more than, only 20% of the year, that wind ain't blowing. In the wintertime, it's calm. It's usually calm in the wintertime. Sometimes it goes in the winter. But not much. But other than that, summer, spring, fall, that wind blows like a madman. And it's blowing like crazy. And it was today was the perfect day to test that out. 
to see if it would actually hold up during that windy time. Well, guess what? It worked like a champion. So I thought I, I would show you these. This has got two mics. I got one there, one there. Uh, it's a relief. So I'd show you that. Jennifer's a no-show again. Getting a little sick of this. It's kind of irritating when you go looking for Jennifer. Go look, well, our landlord manager. And guess what? Nowhere to be found. We knocked on the door, we went there at 12, not there. One o'clock, not there. How irritating is that? I don't know what's going on with these batteries, but they ain't keeping it charged like they thought they would. School bus is coming. They're actually coming out. Usually they don't hit out until about, you know, 2.25. There was an ambulance at the school yesterday. Joseph was not exactly great in school. Go, Jojo. Yeah, we got a. I got this. They give me this little paper about a report. Yeah, it wasn't exactly the greatest report that I heard from him. Stay out of the middle of the road. Yeah. I've had days where he's like this. Today is, uh,. May 19th, Wednesday, might be crappy weather again, it looks like it's going to be crappy weather again, we might even get some much needed rain, uh, if we do, it would be much appreciated. I gotta head over to Super 1, I gotta help Larry out tomorrow. Before I go to Super 1 though, I have to uh, go to Ace. I want to check out some uh, few things. I think I got to get some uh, stuff later on, but not right now. I'm just going to do some price comparisons. I'm going to be putting in a, a family Dollar Tree, whatever that is, I don't know. I don't know what that is, and I'm not for certain what it is, but uh, uh, I don't know yet. But I gotta go Super 1. I wanna check out some um, conditioning oil for the wood. Yeah, so I'm gonna go look at some uh, furniture oil. Because when you do your linseed oil, you don't wanna build up a, a massive, serious coating. The thing is, you just wanna put, keep that oil in good shape keep it from wearing out you want to use like an orange oil which removes the slimy grimy greasy feel but keeps the oils in the wood so I'm gonna go look at it I'm gonna do some checkouts on some stuff and uh, you could use Formby's, Formby's lemon oil or a few other things so maybe I might do a little recording that so Formby's used to have a lemon oil this is what they got now Guardsman lemon oil, which works. And then there's this Howard's orange oil. This works too. Not exactly cheap. Eleven ninety nine compared to the lemon oil. Nine fifty nine. I went in there, I got some asparagus for 98 cents. So, 98 cents a pound for the first two pounds. I got a few other things, I got some sardines, I got a few other things, some uh, seaweed, little packets of seaweed, which is good for the iodine. Got some Brussels sprouts, stuff like that, some broccoli. Yeah, yeah, I know, thanks for the list, Michael. Well, I'm just telling you that I, I've been trying to eat more healthy than I used to. I used to down crap like crazy. I think we need to stop down in so much garbage. I'm going to try to get this vlog up early. I'm going to try to get two out this week. I'm going to try. 
Since I now have this uh, wind reducer on there, I'm going to aim for about two a week. That was my initial plan on this in the first place, was to do about two, about two vlogs per week on YouTube. But I couldn't because all the wind would blow on my face and you, know, you can hear nothing but the wind. And so, you know, I got now opportunities to put out videos so I can do more vlogging. I like to vlog outside, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to be putting this up today. I don't know, maybe you can see it over there. Way over there. They're building uh, that new dollar family dollar tree. I'm not going to run across the street, but you can see that little white strip there. That's where they're building. I'll, uh, I want to check it out when it gets built. See what if it's just another whatever. I got to make mention real fast about that orange oil. The reason I want to use the orange oil is that um, it protects the wood from breaking down because UVs will break down that linseed oil. Well, that little bit of orange oil will keep it from getting all worn out. And it'll keep it. It'll keep that luster on there. So if you've got a sheen, if you want to keep it that way, I would suggest you put on orange oil at least once every season. All you do is put a coat on there, let it soak in for a while, buff it out with a clean rig, and you're set to go. Yeah, I'm eating a whole lot more healthy than I used to. I had some uh, mackerel yesterday. I didn't know you got that much in there, but that's actually the highest amount of omega-3. It has the most omega-3 in it, so, you know, the mackerel has the highest amount of omega-3, which, by the way, it's very good. Okay, I'm going to show a little few things that I got that I think people should be eating more of. Organic seaweed. Definitely organic seaweed, people should be eating more of this. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Good for you. It's actually a healthier one to eat. No. Blueberries. You want to wrap them in this asparagus and eat them that way. The asparagus. I don't think they'll eat me one of these uh, salmon strips. They're pretty good too. And I'm drinking my matcha green tea. I just sip it. I think we'll take a different route home. Yeah, we're going to take a different route home today. I don't know why. I, I, sometimes I take a different route. I get bored with the same old route. I just finished eating prosciutto. I wrapped around the asparagus. It made that asparagus taste good. It was really nice and tasty. It was uh, very nice. Oh, I was going to show you when I get home my orange oil that I bought, which will work. I mean, it has mineral oil in it. I don't really care about mineral oil. Uh, the thing you do with that, if you're going to use that one, even though it has mineral oil, but it has orange oil in it, so that's what I want. It, it brings back the shine. Well, you just put it on there, let it sit there for... I don't know, whatever. And then you wipe it back, as I said before earlier. But, uh, I thought I'd show you what it looked like. Uh, let me get across the street. <clears throat> okay, we're across. 
Uh, it's kind of weird how spring works here sometimes. 80 degrees, it was 83 a couple days ago. Uh, then it shoots down to, I think it's only going to get about barely 60 degrees. That's a 20 degrees drop. Oh well. When? Uh, go from wearing shorts and t-shirts back to wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants. Isn't it funny how stuff works out that way? I did a video a while back and I forgot all about it. And I'm gonna have to get back into it. Is walnut oil. I never announced it because I didn't know if I was gonna do it or not. Walnut oil and uh, linseed oil and soybean oil. And uh, when the weather gets warm enough, I'm gonna finish up that video, get it out there. I'm gonna build a coating, and I'm gonna wait to, for it to dr fully dry. I hope it gets fully dry, especially the soybean oil. That one's a little tough to cure. Uh, let it fully dry. Um, get a nice, good layer of coating on it, and then hopefully. I can get that video out because I want to do another video. I have another one coming out too, walnut oil and linseed oil, the comparison, but this one was about just doing another comparison video on certain wood. And you also have to realize that certain woods absorb quicker. Sap wood takes a little longer than natural grain. It also means a variety of wood too, you know, uh, oak seems to absorb a lot faster, ash seems to absorb a lot faster. Maple on the other hand has a tendency not to absorb as fast. I don't know why, but it just does not absorb that fast. I never understood what it was, but it really doesn't absorb that fast. I gotta help out Larry tomorrow too, so I gotta help him out and get that all done. I gotta set up his computer. We might have to get a keyboard and a mouse. We don't know yet. We'll see tomorrow. I gotta get a Wi-Fi adapter for him. He wants to set up a desktop in his workshop. So we'll be getting that done tomorrow, I hope. One of these days, I'll have to make a trip out to Albany Cove, which is down that road uh, one of these days I'll have to go out there I haven't been out there forever though it's a two mile walk I used to do it all the time when I used to swim a lot until my knee started acting up and then I quit swimming so if my knee would behave I'd probably be swimming a lot more but I don't trust it anymore oh look at that I think we have some new shoot ups of uh some kind of trees. I actually came in here and harvested some maple wood out of here. I think I showed you. But yeah, I'll walk by real fast so we can see if uh, anything has popped up from them. I don't see anything yet. No. Nope. They must not have had a well-established root system, but I came in here and got some maple out of here though. I think the lilac trees look good and they also smell good I'm not gonna walk on somebody's property just to smell them and I shouldn't have came down this way because I already seen something that I uh, I see more fallen maple wood this is why I don't come down these ways because I get so tempted to want to take some wood out of here oh man the temptation is so strong to knock on this guy's door later on and see if he'd let me rummage through it not make a mess but rummage through that and just see what I could get I'll tell you right now there's potentials in there people don't realize that there are some potentials in here if it's still here a couple days from now I'm gonna talk and see if he'll let me go through it as long as I don't make a big mess. Uh, Michael, why'd you come this way? I know why, because there's sticks for me to grab. 
That's why I came this way. Since I got a better eye on finding good walking sticks, there is some there. For good walking sticks. But more than likely, they'd probably be better off for canes. And I will probably make a trip back here later on. I hope he's here Friday. If he's here Friday, I'm going to come back here and knock on his door and see if I can rummage through some of that. And I won't make a mess. A lot of times they don't care. From my experience, I've, a lot of times it's less for them to take. They're just going to throw it to the dump anyway, so what do they care? So I might very well come back here to uh, Friday if it's still there and rummage through that a little bit. Try not to make a big fat mess see if I can't get some of that wood because I'm gonna have to eventually go to the museum and unload some wood but if they're, they're stock to be get he had I'm gonna have it or try to at least get it uh, as I'm gonna get over to the museum um, I'm gonna bring about 10 sticks they said six but I'm gonna bring them 10 so I'm gonna send I'm gonna bring them over there for them to sell so, before that, we gotta go talk to the stupid manager. Hopefully this time she's there so we can finish this up and get out of our hair. That should take no more than 10, 15 minutes. I'll round up some sticks. Uh, get them all done. Laced up and everything. And uh, bring them over there. So if you ever go to the museum, And uh, look at my sticks. Maybe buy one if you want one so badly. Uh, that I'm gonna be coming back today. I'm gonna give them a call. They gave me a piece of paper to call for numbers, and uh, so I'll definitely uh, get that done today. But I gotta get that stupid thing done with. The lease, Jennifer. Went and uh, got those uh, sticks done. I took them over to the museum. I had to go over there really fast because I had to pick up Joseph, so I didn't have time to record it. One of these days, I'll probably go back in there and do some more look at it. Uh, so I got all those. I gave him ten walking sticks to sell. They said they want to do a little kickback for me, but I don't know. We'll see. Just doing it is good enough for me. Let's we'll see what I want to do about that. Okay, I'm off for home. Not the greatest news. Joseph was kind of bad in school today. Uh, just how it goes sometimes. I got stuff. I just talked to Lady Eloise at the museum on selling the walking sticks. She made a deal where. I get a little kickback so I can buy, uh, just paste my materials. Actually, paste for a portion of my materials. No, nowhere near it. But it really cost me for my materials. So, got to talk with her. I'm gonna do a little bio. She's gonna put it up there by the walking sticks, talking about me. I'll post it on my discussion board. My bio. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh. This vlog didn't really get much done. Well, kind of. A little bit here and there. Not everything. But nonetheless, uh, it got me... I got a chance to go and talk, see some walking sticks, take a different, different route. I got some walking sticks with people at this uh, the museum. Uh, so, yeah. Got the test and wind reducer, worked excellent. They seem to be sticking on there quite well. They ain't popping off. Uh, but anyways, people are... Uh, everybody loves Joseph. Don't they, Jojo? Everybody loves Jojo. Jojo. But anyways... I'm calling it a day. People might uh, get upset at me, but I'm done for the day.